Hello guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel of The Concept Guy and in this video we are going to talk about the MTech first semester which is really important and I will tell you why and all the things that you need to take into account and but first of all just like congratulations for making it to MTech in different IITs or NIT whatever you are going to do. Now let's talk about why first semester is like so important, what's so crucial in it. So in this video I am going to tell you three major things actually for three different categories first is those people who are actually in mtech but wanted to join psu or maybe joining psu how to plan accordingly because you can't lose the stipend of course and you definitely want stipend till someday so how to go about that and how if you are planning to give gate again gate exam okay that's the first thing the next thing are for those students who are just planning for the placements at iit what their strategy should be and lastly the uh, this is for those students who are thinking that they should join mtech or not what are the things they need or if they are in mtech the first semester what is something that they can achieve if they are average or below so don't worry i have stuff for even everybody so let's start and the main thing here i want to say that the first semester you have the maximum amount of courses because the first and the second semester in the mtech mtech is of two years so the first year is mostly of all the courses coursework is more while the second year is mostly of the project so there is mtech project which is your final project that's important but that comes later so you have two types of courses here first the uh, core one the core courses are those that you have to do okay there is no option to you there's an option to select or not they those you have to do you have to do well and the second type of courses are the program electives and then there are some the open electives in mtech it's more of research than just the objective type you have given gate you are like crazy about object objective questions but here things change a bit and you have to focus on the uh, subjective or the research aspects more so you have to think more and ta 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 less okay more of the subjective pattern now main thing here is that the program electives are depend depends on different aspects different domains actually like let's say we have uh, let's take a very common example you have maths okay now you are studying maths but let's say somebody is teaching you the calculus okay now the, the calculus is let's say a different program elective altogether so you are studying basic maths and that's your core that will build your fundamentals while the department elective or the program elective that's let's say the calculus would actually give you extra inputs and in-depth knowledge of that particular thing don't worry not all electives are uh, so much complicated or tough uh, there are some easy ones scoring ones and some are hard but maybe you get a lot of input from them how to choose okay that's the main question and this is the main thing so for those students who are in mtech uh, first semester only and now they plan to give gate again okay and think that they should try and get uh, the more scoring but how to know which course is more scoring or not then i will say that make good friends make good seniors okay with seniors friends with seniors and try to contact them try to take help from friends to complete the coursework because the coursework is divided mostly like in this pattern like the quizzes are there then the assignments or the tutorials tutorials means that tutorial sheets that's kind of the assignments then there are like the minor minor is about 30 percent and major is about 40 to 50 percent so you see that the assignments and tutorial uh, or if there is a project so some courses have a small projects okay small projects small small okay you have to do that so sometimes uh, you need to see like from the senior or check from the senior or different students uh, Con contact connect with them and you will get to know which course has a group project so if you get a group project then mostly it is sorted because you you can do the easy part from that project but the main thing is that you have to connect with people get to know which course has what and what's the scoring and now scoring it depends if you ask the topper he will say scoring is easy if you ask some average guy you will he will say uh, this course scoring is little tough so you see that asking two people uh, have different opinions so what you need to see is that how many students are getting enrolled in that if more number of students are getting enrolled and you feel that you have an upper edge you have something more 
in that subject you it's your favorite subject then probably take that so if more students are there because of the relative marking okay so there are two types of marking actually absolute marking and relative marking absolute means let's say you got 60 percent in a in a course okay now <laughs> definitely if your parents see that you will they will say oh, oh, oh. 60% is too less like 60 damn you we were getting 98 or let's say 90% or 88% or 80% or 70% in your class 12 or in BTEC and now you have dropped to 60% that's embarrassing but let's say you got 60% and all others in the class got less than 60% the course was super super tough okay and this happens this happens actually okay so what you are the topper of the course then if the absolute marking is there everyone gets most of the students will get failed and every gets gets very very bad grades but what happens in institutions like iit and iit that there is relative marking <coughs> through which what happens if the course is so tough that even the topper is getting 60 percent or let's say even if the topper is getting 70 percent 80 percent depends on the actually the course instructor the professor and he can make it the relative grading so what relative marking is that if you are getting 60 percent and still you are the topper you should get the best grade that's the 10 grade okay uh, in cgpa so that's how things make people like people get the more cgpa that way because most courses have relative marking so you just have to score you don't have to score much you just have to score better than the others and that's the thing i will say that focus from the start itself because after you get uh, join in august and there is in september in there is minor so minor exam so you have just one month and trust me if you clear out minor really well most of the students will like uh, withdraw the course or let's say audit the course audit means that uh, in some colleges there is an audit option also like in iit delhi that you can uh, actually take the course the credits you can take the credits but you won't get that involved in your cgpa okay so your credits would be there but uh, in cgpa calculation that course won't be there okay don't worry your credits will be fulfilled and you will get your degree however the cgpa calculation will be based on other courses which you haven't audited let's say five people you know ask them what's how they score the scoring the teacher and if there's a project or not if there's a group project brilliant go for it okay and that's how you can choose the easy ones now for those students who are in the uh, first semester and want to continue it till the end okay they want to continue the m tech and uh, maybe they are not giving it or maybe if, even if they are giving it they are not focusing on psu just trying their luck or something so then they what they have to do is that they have to select very carefully okay so let's say you have five courses uh, mostly there are many courses in your first semester let's say you have five courses let's say three are your core and let's say two are your electives so core you can't choose you have to perform well but the electives you choose will decide your domain okay like where are you moving towards or what skill are you actually acquiring trust me the two electives you choose one of those electives will really help you to select the project in the next semester or at least get to know what to select and to actually help uh, you with this let's say i go to itd uh, chemical uh, for chemical engineer or others can even try out so in the website itself uh, in different iits and nits you can see that there is a uh, area called research or many maybe a different area so here what you can see the research areas the interest areas are all here so every area every research area has let's say catalysis have different professors okay some are strict some are chill chilled out everything is going easy uh, you will get good marks but you need to select accordingly you want that particular course uh, first you need to select in the first semester uh, which are you going to go okay not the guide up don't choose the professor now just select what interests you more if you're not able to find out just go search let's say i go up here and i see the publications and see different publications uh, and research interest what are the interest okay these are the things connect with your seniors to see what are the main uh, research areas or the topics of the mtech project of different uh, different professors and so for that you need to just see here look here and there more okay but the main thing is the electives now some professors might be having an elective some might not be having which elective to choose 
I suggest that even for those who are determined to complete MTech, choose one scoring elective, okay, one very scoring and easy elective, uh, where you feel you can actually score more, and one elective that you want to find out that if this research area is good for me or not. Now you need to go through all the program structures here that I have for IITD. Uh, every every institution has mostly these program structures, and let's say. Uh, you go here and like here in this you have different structures the different credits distribution in the first semester try to collect as many credits as possible and try to score more and more because in the first two semesters cgpa is crucial for placement okay because uh, placements mostly start from uh, like the procedure starts from august itself like the next august so from the uh, third semester the procedure will start so uh, till december if the placement starts uh, then what happens is that the first two semester CGPA matters. Okay, the first semester CGPA and the second semester CGPA, these uh, two CGPA goes into your CV or resume. So try to score more and more as much as you can. Take a scoring subject uh, elective and the next one take something that you want to go into because you finally have to choose the project. For that you need to get associated like what's happening in that area. Try to select a similar. Okay. Even if you score bad in it, no problem. You have three cores. Uh, you might be doing good in them because those are basics, okay. And one scoring elective, so your score would be like compensated, okay. The main important thing next is that how to like manage all these the coursework as well as the TA work. So what's the TA work? That's the teaching assistantship, uh, or let's say if you are doing the RA or the research assistantship. So what you have to do, you will be assigned some job on which you will be given the stipend okay now that work uh, people think that it's too much of a work and sometimes it's very bit. but in the mtech first semester and even in the second semester things are pretty easy like uh, if you are ta you are the ta of a lab let's say uh, a lab okay and in that lab you just have to uh, see if students are doing okay uh, sometimes some students mark the attendance sometimes some students check the copies okay and checking the copies for the labs is really easy because most of the copies are same because the theory is almost same the procedure is also same only just the calculation part the tables observations they are little different so checking the lab man uh, lab files is quite easy so the ta work for the first semester is quite easy don't think that it's a burden on you okay focus on your more on your electives and for all other students who are thinking that what is mtech suitable for them or not what they should do they should join a, a job after btech or not the main criteria of mtech is that if you are let's say from a lower tier college or uh, even if you are from nits going to iits actually increases your chances of placement because now you get not only get the core placements you are actually getting also the non core placements also and from the starting itself i would say focus on both okay because mostly what happens is that the core placements in most of the iits and it's are less okay and even there uh, sometimes the packages are also less I'm not uh, talking about csit because that's the core thing only for them but even in, in that also let's say someone's going to different infosys tcs and getting around five to six or seven lpa then they might feel that okay uh, after btech i'm joining this job you can take the experience and if you want to do some management you can do the cat and there the experience will really work but in mtech mostly research focused jobs come for the core area the next thing that non core thing start from the first semester itself the non core uh, prepare prepare for the uh, placements how you do that if uh, nowadays there is a trend of data analytics machine learning start to like focus on that start uh, doing courses from coursera or data camp or different uh, let's say different platforms try to do the free courses try to learn python try to learn different skills and this way even if you are doing let's say chemical engineering or mechanical engineering you have a plan b okay so plan b should be ready from the first semester itself that i believe try to select courses with group projects because you will do the project and you can add that in your cv while you will be in a group so your burden will be less however don't take wrong group okay i will suggest mtech people should group with mtech only and try to figure out if someone is really going to work uh, because some students really don't work that's the reality actually so uh, try to take some group projects that are easy scoring as well as you can put in your cv and at least show that i have done something okay 
and all the things after that the uh, the first second first and second semester C cgpa is matter so score well and then in the second semester onwards you need to think more about the project but for the first semester aim is to score well and well and well and also to start uh, gearing up for the non board okay so i hope this helps is like share and subscribe if you really wish so i will meet you in the next video for this second semester mtech okay thank you guys